Now, we all know cameras can catch people doing things that they shouldn't be doing, but they can also be used to help solve some mysteries. And here at Battersea Cats and Dog Zone, strange things were going on at night, which the staff could not explain. <laughs> So what's the big mystery, Anne? Right, well, what started happening is the dogs in this block started getting out of the kennels. Um, it started with one or two doors being opened, and it was always overnight. And then it increased to having about 10 to 12 dogs running around the place, stealing all the food in the kitchen. We first started thinking it was human error, and we had a very stern talk to the staff and said, you have to close the doors properly overnight. But it kept on happening. The next time we thought that it might be a practical joke, uh, somebody was having a bit of a laugh. Um, but we tracked down the security men, and there was nobody here at night that would be doing that. What we decided to do was put a camera at the end of the aisle down here okay. so we can see all the way down and all the kennels that were being opened. Then we also decided to put one in the kitchen where the food was. Right. And finally, we decided to put a camera in one particular kennel, and it's this kennel here. Why particularly this one? Well, there's a dog called Red inside here. He was the one who always had his doors open. He was the one who always had his best friends, dog, doggy-wise, in there the next morning. The cameras were set. Now all they had to do was wait. For the first couple of nights it was set up, there was nothing. Right. Absolutely nothing. We were really disappointed. But on the third night, Red, a lurcher, decided to show why he's top dog. Look at that. Door's loose. Yep, and just needs to And off he goes. Genius. Yep. Oh. Oh, no, so he, he's come straight out of his kennel, straight into the kitchen before letting his buddies out. Yeah, he didn't get the best bits. He is shrewd. He's got the nerve of the devil, really, hasn't he? And just as soon as Red's had his film, he gets down to the serious business of who he's going to party with tonight. So they're his two best buddies, are they? They are his two best buddies. They're the lads. Go on, lads. In they go, look. <laughs> his girlfriend Sage was coming in here and Sage was always let out. Did what you captured here actually put an end to Red's antics? It did unfortunately. Oh, we had to double lock the doors <laughs> on top of the security we already have. Sadly that was the end of Red's nights out of the town. But, as one door closed, another one opened. Because he was adopted two weeks later. 